There are several things that I, I think about and can think about when I come to a source like this. First of all, I'm a social historian, so I look at this not as a representation of um, a particular set of beliefs or an evocation of a particular ideology, but I think about the people who produce it um, and the community that they're part of and maybe the community of readership as well. Secondly, I'm interested in the moment that something is being created. Maybe what's useful is to think about the leaflet itself as an object that uh, people are using by this point the same way they would use the walls of the city, which at this time were covered with anarchist symbols or uh, with uh, little pictures of elves, which were quite a popular symbol across Poland. Or um, another symbol on this leaflet is a um, military helmet with flowers growing out of it. Flowers along with military helmets suggest that kind of nonviolence. And so maybe the leaflet is a surface, like a wall, only it's a surface that you can distribute quite easily. It's a surface that can put anything you want on it. Which, by the way, is a kind of a radical break because paper in the underground world is something rather precious. You've got to beg, borrow, or steal it. And there's a lot of information that you want to get across that's not in the official press. And so if you look at underground uh, periodicals produced by Solidarity, they're tight lines of text, very small, hard to read, hardly any margins. And here you've got room for graffiti. It's also a way of saying we've got the freedom to do with this paper whatever we want.